Uh, well, I want to thank Ted and John for, uh, for making this trip available to the rest of us. It was um, incredibly informative, uh, incredibly instructive, very sobering, and, um, and as uh, Ted said, I think really preventable. Uh, this shouldn't have happened. And um, I think one of the lessons we learned is that uh, if you don't build it, they will come. When you don't finish the job and secure the border, you are inviting people into this country. And many of the changes made by the current administration, they were forewarned that this would happen. They were told in advance, this was predictable, that you were going to have thousands of people flooding across the border. And the thing that's probably most concerning, and I say this uh, with all due respect to our our Border Patrol folks is that they spend so much time just taking care of people who come here illegally, they can't, they can't stop the bad people, the smugglers, the drug smugglers, the human traffickers, and when you're devoting as much time as they are uh, to taking care and supervising and trying to keep uh, safe all those people who are sitting in these facilities down here, it, it really is a sad day. Um, we need a change in our policy. I am grateful to the Border Patrol for the, uh, just the tremendous job that they do. Uh, I'm sure it seems like a very thankless job even on a good day, and there aren't many good days when you have thousands of people coming, coming across the border. But um, we, uh, we appreciate their work. They're trying to keep our country safe and secure. We need to help them by putting good policies in place and getting away from these failed policies that have been implemented by the Biden administration and they're leading to this crisis on our border. Thanks.